Alright y'all, got a, another gun I'd like to show you here. This is the Kimber Super Pro Carry. A little safety check it. <clears throat> Nothing in the chamber. Damn, that spring is tight. I'm getting weak. It comes with a four inch barrel. Match grade steel. It's a bull barrel. So it doesn't tear down like a normal uh, model 1911. There is a hole in there and you take this pin and you stick it in that hole like that and you release it and then the slide will just come straight on off what you're doing when you put that pin in there is you're capturing that uh, recoil spring it has a 22 pound recoil spring in your mirror <clears throat> but anyway it holds eight rounds it has ambidextrous safeties which I, I prefer it didn't but it does the entire gun has been buffed to a carry melt everything is smoothed off the slide is steel but the frame is aluminum with what they call a Kimpro to uh, finish on it it's a satin silver it has tritium night sights which I, I, I really like the night sights, the glow in the dark. The grip is a laminate. It's a hardwood and um, micarta. And, and the checkering, I, I would describe it as. Uh, um, aggressive it's not aggressive to the point that it's uncomfortable but uh... it is they're really pointed okay the reason why uh... i picked it up is i was gonna uh, make a winter carry out of it because of the butt here the mainspring housing is curved as are the grips which helps to conceal it somewhat I have since found what I think is an ideal carry pistol that I'll show you later but uh, it was different and things that are different grab my eye Now what we have here, instead of checkering on the back strap, is a some type of a overlapping design there. It has the same thing or similar on the fr uh, front strap. You see that?
It makes it look neat. And and it feels good. Now the serrations on the uh slide, the cocking serrations, they look like um fish scales. But but they they function quite well. But they're they're lapped on there. <clears throat> the slide stop, if you can see it, it sits in a little recess. See that? And it uh, it's readily accessible when you go to uh, take the weapon down. Even when it was uh, brand new, once you jack the slide back and put that pin in there, this thing here, if you push on the other side, it just pops right on out. Has your grip safety it's a little higher than some models but just the slightest bit of activation engages it and it has an extreme beaver tail and it has a little recess where it sets in the uh, hammer sets in it the hammer has serrations on it. It is skeletonized. The sights are uh, thick, real thick sights. And the rear sight, they're both dovetailed by the way, the rear sight has a shoulder on it right here for cocking for let's say you you became disabled in one hand for whatever reason then by placing this on the sharp edge you can push down and use the sight to charge the weapon There is um, checkering on the slide stop, serrations on the thumb safety. The uh, mag release is raised, it's right there, easily accessible. It weighs 28 ounces uh, empty. I don't know what these rounds weigh, but uh, if I had a scale, I'd set it up on it and find out. I have sent off for a crossbreed holster. I hear a lot about them. I'm going to see uh, when it gets here if it'll accommodate this. got the same design on the top that kind of uh, I, I don't know how to describe that it's not the same as as this design here lowered ejection port flared ejection port polished barrel it has the uh, long trigger on it and I, what I suppose is a an adjustment it has a hole there for a uh, Allen wrench
the um, magwell is tapered that recoil spring is has 22 pounds I fired this gun the uh, the recoil the felt recoil is negligible it, it I, because of that spring you don't really notice the recoil it's an accurate weapon and it's fun to shoot has a peephole load in indicator I don't ever trust those things I always have to look got a nice trigger I I'm assuming it's four to five pounds I found this holster here. Now, actually, this holster here, this is a Blackhawk. It's made in Italy. It, it's for the XD. But um, I had picked this up for another weapon. And this fits in it fine. comes with a clip an aggressive clip but uh... it's good quality stitching and it seems to be a quality leather but this is a pretty gun very pretty gun and I really appreciate this here That's pretty unique I believe that about covers everything appreciate you watching